Okay, today's project's a little different. This elephant foot, we're, we did, we sewed it all up, same as we did any other elephant foot we've worked on. But these elephant feet are going to be bar stools, they're going to be 32 inches tall. And since they're so tall, they don't stand up very well when you put the sand in them to let them dry. So we're actually going to, today I've got a, well, it's actually an old fence stretcher that's hooked to the ceiling of my shop. This is what I use for skinning and raising stuff. But we're going to use that. We're going to use an 8 inch piece of pipe for the, same, for the reason that this foot would just take too much sand to fill otherwise and there would be too much pressure at the bottom and I'm afraid it would split my seams out. So our first step is going to be to get a bucket of sand down in this foot the bottom of this foot to hold it in place so we're just going to start working some sand down in that foot get that foot out but up till now we've done the same same steps as we do with our shorter ones on our video the only difference is, I'll show you how to do this taller one without splitting your seam out and holding it straight while we're working on it. Getting that sand worked out towards them toes so you get the shape of the foot you want. If you get a spot like that where I couldn't sew because it was too close to the heel, I'll just take some batting and I'll push it in in that hole to help plug it. So the salt. We'll just get this complete bucket in this foot before we try to raise this up at all. 